Here are five simple myth-related questions for surgical oncologists. Hi all, I'm Dr. Sendil Kumar, Senior Consultant Surgical Oncologist at VS Hospitals. Myth, removing the entire breast is the only surgical option for breast cancer. Question, what are the various surgical options available for breast cancer patients, and how is the best approach decided? Uh, gone are the days where every breast cancer patient required complete removal of the breast, what we call as a mastectomy. Now we know that uh, we have a lot of evidence that we don't have to do mastectomy for all the breast cancer patients. In patients who have early breast cancer, where the lump is diagnosed quite early, we can preserve the breast. So what we do is called as a breast conservation surgery. In essence, we remove the tumor with some margin of normal breast tissue, preserve the normal breast, rest of the normal breast tissue, and the patient surgery is done, the patient will have their adjuvant treatment as well. By adjuvant treatment, I mean chemotherapy and radiation. With this, the patients can be cured. They don't have to have a mastectomy. That is, removal of the breast is not necessary for all breast cancers. Mastectomy may be needed only in the very advanced breast cancers or patients who are not fit for certain other forms of therapy. Otherwise, we can conserve the breast in most early cancers. Myth, breast cancer surgery always requires extensive recovery time. Question, what is the typical recovery process after breast cancer surgery and are there minimally invasive options with shorter recovery periods? Uh, breast cancer surgery is no more a, a very major surgery like those uh, days few decades back. Nowadays, uh, most often than not, breast cancer is almost a daycare surgery or at maximum a daycare or a 24 hours admission. What essentially it means is that at 24 hours, the patient will be able to take care of herself or himself and they can go back to their home and uh, this is basically it. It means it's no more the major surgery that takes a long time recovery and all that stuff. Most often after the surgery, we keep uh, drains where we get the fluid out. That will be there for a few days until the drain output comes down. All this is manageable at home and uh, that does not require any hospitalization. So it's no more the major surgery that requires long days of hospitalization. More, most often than not, it is one or two days that breast cancer surgery patients usually stay in the hospital unless the patients require some flaps or reconstruction when the hospital stay can be a little longer. Even those cases, the uh, the hospital stay is no more like the prolonged periods like what was the case long time back. Myth, a lumpectomy is not as effective as a mastectomy. Question, can you explain the differences between a lumpectomy and a mastectomy and the factors that influence the choice of surgery? Okay. Surgery for breast cancer, there are two types of surgeries. One is a classical mastectomy and the other is a breast conservation surgery. By mastectomy, we mean the removal of the entire breast. Okay. And in case of a breast conservation surgery, we do what is called a lumpectomy. Lumpectomy means we remove the cancerous lump along with a sliver of normal tissue as well. And any patient who always has a breast conservation surgery will also have as a part of breast conservation, conservation surgery, radiotherapy postoperatively. The mastectomy patients uh, will also have an axillary dissection and the breast conservation patients will also have an axillary dissection. So based on this, uh, the treatment is going to be based on the final histopathology or the stage of the disease. So both are equally effective options in the early breast cancer. You, the patients need not worry that by having a slightly smaller surgery in the terms of doing a lumpectomy that they may have an inferior survival. That is not the case. The survival as well as the disease-free uh, control period is the same. In essence, whether the patient has a lumpectomy or a mastectomy, the results are same. And we, in fact, encourage patients, more and more patients to feel, uh, to, to, to go for breast conservation surgery because by then they will have their more, uh, their more comfortable physiologically, emotionally, they are more stable that they have their breast. They have not had a removal of the breast. So this is what we uh, encourage them to actually undergo. Myth, surgery is the last resort for advanced breast cancer. Question, at what stage of breast cancer is surgery typically recommended? And how does it fit into the overall treatment plan? The role of surgery in breast cancer depends on the stage of the disease. In early cancer disease, certain subgroup of patients, say the slightly older patients who have uh, favorable tumors in terms of certain receptors, we do what is called as hormonal receptors and all the, uh, the HER2 markers and all these stuff. So if they have a very favorable uh, risk factors, for them, some of them, they may not even require chemotherapy or radiation. Surgery might be sufficient. So early tumors, surgery may be the first step to start with. Slightly, slightly aggressive tumors or slightly locally advanced tumors, that is slightly larger tumors, they may have to be downsized. We give them chemotherapy, make the tumors smaller, and then we operate on them. 
so in this situation also the surgeon has a role in doing the mastectomy or a breast conservation in selected situations in very advanced tumors there is that is when we say advanced tumors the tumors uh, this the tumor breast cancer has spread to other areas like bone or liver brain or lung in these sort of situations surgeon has or the surgery as such has a very limited role because most of the time the treatment is systemic either with hormonal tablets or with chemotherapy drugs in this situation surgery as such has very limited role however in certain situations when the tumor is ulcerating it produces of bleeding there's a discharge is foul smelling and the patient wants to have the uh, uh, tumor bleeding control there we may do a palliative surgery otherwise very advanced tumors the main treatment is going to be modality is going to be mainly systemic therapy in the form of either hormones or chemotherapy myth breast reconstruction is only for cosmetic purposes question what are the physical and psychological benefits of breast reconstruction surgery for breast cancer survivors breast is uh, a sign of femininity no more the case of uh, women uh, having a mastectomy feeling complete with it so this is because uh, as a form of our own tradition and the belief psychologically a woman feels complete with only the presence of a breast so people have lot of psychological barriers they get emotionally down when they have a mastectomy and uh, that is the reason why breast reconstruction is a very good option for not just for the cosmetic purpose also for the fact that the the feel good factor the psychological well being the emotional well being of a patient so we give reconstruction in selected cases where the disease control is good and the patient has a suitable uh, situation for reconstruction we have lot of options for uh, breast reconstruction in terms of local flaps uh, microvascular uh, free flaps and even processes implants and all these stuff depending on the requirement and the desires of the patient so reconstruction is not just a cosmetic procedure it has much more value to it vs hospitals care